Okay, so I'm sitting here outside of that no boundary. <laughs> Got myself a little coffee because the blind barista is here where they have coffee drinks right outside of the studio. That's how bougie we are. <laughs> Aubrey's inside doing her Saturday classes and then tomorrow we have the dance spot classes and comp routines. And I just wanted to tell you guys how things have been going. The week has been crazy. <laughs> Let me show you guys just right now what it was like when our kids first came in here two Sundays ago. Hello. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi, Carly. This is for you. It is? Yeah, it's for you and the staff. This is awesome. And that, too. Wow. I was not expecting this at all. I know. Wait, what is it? Okay, wait. Here, you hold that. That's so this really is Lottie awesome. and that's Jaitlyn. Hi, nice to meet you. Okay, you hold that. Oh. So I made you help my soda and my sweatpants. Nice. <laughs> and we have some more. Wow. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> well, yep. You don't have to say anything. We're saying thank you. Yes. <laughs> wow. Thank you all very much. I'm excited to talk with all of you. Yay! High five! I'm so awkward. <laughs> so what do you think of this room? Is this crazy? So this is just one of their dance rooms. We'll have Hadley. Hadley is Carly's daughter. And she's, oh gosh. And Hadley, you want to give the kids a tour? Yeah. Hey, you guys want to have a tour? Okay, so all the dancers, let's go with Hadley. Just set it right here. You've already been in here, but. I want a tour. Let's go see. I have a bug bite. We're doing it. We're doing a tour. Real quick. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so the rooms are numbered five, six, seven, eight. That big one that we were just in. This one feels like ours. Isn't that cool? We got a new speaker. We have a whole other train. Everybody's following us. And then we have another room. They are all very, very loud. What are you doing? This is Studio 6. Oh, that's the theater room on the top of that. That, mm, one of our, one of the people who helped build it. Because it's like a secret room, so we just yeah, follow up the dungeon. Um, but this is Studio 7. And the Do you get it? How the studios are named? 5678? Yeah, I already got it. Oh, um, yeah, that's bad. Aubrey, don't do that. Yeah, it's spooky. No. And the fun thing. Yeah, this is the shower liner, like what we had. Isn't this crazy? Oh, my blanket. Thank you. All right, so are we going to go in the big studio? Let's go in there. No. Yep. What do you think? Isn't it cool? Excited, yes. yes. I love my first recording right now. Our reaction. Yes, or, I am. I'm glad I put on lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> You're all 
always so fun on camera. Because they're talking, she's like, Mom, why are you putting on lipstick? I'm like, Because I'm gonna have, yeah, we're gonna be on a video. We're gonna be on a video. My gosh, we have a surprise! Kennedy's here! I was wondering what you guys were. Yay! Lottie! Lottie! Hi, babies. Lottie! Lottie. Hi, Lottie! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now what we have going on is we have a great partnership that's going on with Carly who owns No Boundaries. And we have quite a few kids that have been coming in and taking classes. Aubrey's the only one who's doing their competition team and our competition team. Um, lots of rumors have been swirling about, you know, what's going on with the dance spot? So let me break it down for you so you guys can understand. So. We are still competing as the dance spot. This is our last season doing that um, because we are not competing or rehearsing down in Burlingame anymore. We're done with that building. Um, like I said, we just can't be down there. We love having the multiple rooms. Like we had rehearsal last Sunday and we were going from room to room to room. It was so dope. Um, and it has been more convenient for us to find our staff. So Deja, who is our graduating senior from last year, she's now on the Ottawa University dance team. She's killing it over there. Well, she is now joining us and she is going to be one of our dance teachers. And if you guys remember Katie, Katie has come back. Me and Katie did some adult classes um, that they had with two of our dance moms, Majesta and Cinda. We came and took some classes the other day. So awesome. Love the adult classes. Check this out. So Cinda and I are going to be taking the adult class. It's like ballet, jazz, there's a hip hop, and I, I think I'll be done by then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. No. <laughs> and then Majesta's supposed to be here, so we're waiting for Majesta to show up. <laughs> if not, it'll just be us. <laughs> it'll be great. Either. It'll be fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're heard on Sunday, and I know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, we just got done with our adult classes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bye, Katie. <sighs> um, it was a lot of fun. 
Uh, so we basically were able to take whatever you wanted tonight and then you could sign up and get a discount for your adult class cards, like punch cards, basically. And so Tuesday nights is ballet, hip hop, which is like jazz funk, hip hop, and then contemporary. And then Wednesday nights is tap and jazz. So, um, I went ahead and got us um, punch cards for our staff. So like if justice happens to be here during Christmas time, she can come take classes with Katie and then, cause Katie's going to be coming in and teaching with us again. And then same thing for Madeline. And then if Courtney wanted to take a class, which I don't know if she would or not, but you know, she did. And then of course myself, which I really enjoyed the jazz class. <laughs> it was my thing. Um, but it was a lot of fun. I had a good time and it was fun hanging out with the moms. So I'm all sweaty. Now I have to go home tomorrow. Aubrey has, um, her jazz day and I think she has technique or acro in the morning. So I have to be back up here in the morning. I'm literally going to be here almost every single day. So, cause Aubrey has dance on Mondays. And then if we came and took adult classes on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, then I got to be back with Aubrey on Thursdays. And then, uh, well, Friday, I guess we would have off. And then Saturday she has crew stuff. And then Sunday we have dance spot stuff. So that kid is going to be doing a dancing storm this year. And I love it. I'm so stoked to be here. This is so much fun. And if you want to come and take some adult classes, they are very, very fun, good exercise, especially like, uh, college dancers. Why are you not coming in and taking these classes? Like, especially Washburn Emporia, you need to get your booties in here and take these classes. Um, it's amazing to have adult classes here in Topeka because the only other place that you could take adult classes was with, um, at point B in Lawrence. So this is so dope that we have this available now for adults to come in here and take these classes. So I highly recommend it. Come check it out. And uh, the prices are pretty reasonable too. Like I got a nice punch card, five classes for 60 bucks. That's pretty dang good. So um, yeah, basically come in, come take some classes, have fun. You can be old and fat just like me, or you can be young and hip and have no dance experience or have a ton. But it's just a lot of fun to come in and do some adult dancing and not have any pressures and just get back into why you love dance in the first place, not just as a teacher or, a, you know, a dance team member or whatever, but just as a student. And all my ex-alumni students, y'all need to come in here and take some classes too because it's good for you. You would love <laughs> this. Iced coffee is really, really good. Y'all, this is so good. Uh, very cool too. I encourage them to go set up at competitions at TPAC. Like I know Bravo's coming, Town on Parade's going to be there. I think Dance Champs is going to be there. There's like quite a few dance competitions that are going to be at Topeka's Performing Arts Center this year. And, uh, I was like, y'all need to set up your little blind barista right in front of the TPAC area because there is like nothing like this for the dance moms when we go to competition. Everybody has to drive all the way onto the other side of Topeka to get some Starbies. But having this, mm, iced coffee, it's good. I love this little Reese. Got some No Boundaries shirts. What new shirts do we have? Mm, they got some black ones. Oh, those ones are cool. Yep, they started last year. We will have more coming out. And are these like old shoes that you can buy? Yeah. <laughs> so dope. So if you need to get some old tap shoes or jazz shoes, hip hop boots, ooh, ballet shoes, you can get them at a discount here at No Boundaries. Ha <laughs> ha. I think it's inside the studio. Huh? So how was dance no, today? No, it's not inside the studio. Oh, no, it isn't. It's out here. Yeah. yeah. How was dance today? Did you yeah. do it full out? Yeah. What'd you work on today? Oh, is that sunny in there? <laughs> 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 Hi, 
Don't distract her. She's in there practicing. Come on. <laughs> you got sunny. She's working on her solo. Oh, she's working on her solo? <laughs> Don't. Her mom is going to get mad if you're distracting no, her. It's oh, okay. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go. Hey, hey. Goober. <laughs> Swiss cheese on it, grilled mushrooms and onions. Mmm, it's good. And these fries, the fries are to die for it. You need to check it out. I'm sitting out here on the patio deck here at Hellraisers, and it's a family owned business. Their house is right next door. It's so quaint and cute out here. I love it. Um, if you happen to come out this way, it's out in Harveyville, and you get great burgers and the steak, I had a steak here last night. Oh, it was phenomenal. And uh, anyway, it's just a small town country atmosphere. Great place to come and have food. They're open Thursdays and Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays. And Aubrey is inside playing on the games inside. Anyway, um, and there's chickens. <laughs> Uh, but I just wanted to like kind of wrap up um, this week's vlog. And so things are going really good. We had a good week at dance and uh, Aubrey is loving dancing with no boundaries, but she's also loving that she can dance with her dance spot family still. And we do have a couple kids that did not transition with us. One of them y'all know, Caitlin. Y'all known Caitlin for a long time. She wanted to take a break and uh, just be a high school kid. So she's just doing high school dance team and cheerleading. I hope that she comes back to competitive dance. If not, just come and take classes over at the studio. And we have quite a few kids that have been taking classes over there, like Tati's taking their tap class and Maddie Hines is taking classes. And we got little Erica and Reagan and we got quite a few kids that want to take their acro and they're acro certified. So it's pretty awesome. Um, the opportunities the kids have with training there, plus they get to do the dance spot stuff. So that's awesome. And then one of our other dancers, her mom used to coach for us. Um, they decided to not follow along with us and they're going to go over to infinity. And so they have been over there. I think Maddie just wanted a new environment and you know, I, I wish the best for her. And I really like that studio. I think that studio is awesome. And I can't wait to see how she does this season and staying up with them with how she's transitioning over there. And maybe I'll see her at competition this year. And uh, I wish her all the best. I really do. I miss that kid. She was one of my favorites. And I'm just glad she's still dancing. But all the rest of them are still with us. So and we have Deja who is now coming back and coaching with us. And we have Katie who has come back and is now coaching with us. And we still have Justice. So it's really awesome that we're ending our 14 years as a dance studio with these alumni that are coming back and coaching and giving back to the kids. And we have a lot of other really exciting stuff that's um, happening within our family and with our dance life. So our YouTube channel is still going to be covering our great season together, but it's also going to be covering like what's going on with no boundaries. And, um, yeah, so I would say we had a really great opening week 
at our new location and I can't wait for all the upcoming events coming up. We're gonna be doing the, <laughs> look at that chicken is out there. <laughs> country life, country life here at, at, at Hellraisers. Anyway, um, I really am looking forward to our upcoming convention thing that we're going to be doing at No Boundaries with uh, the branch experience. That thing is going to be amazing and I'll be featuring that here on our vlogs. And then we also have Aubrey performing with her No Boundaries kids at their Christmas showcase. So we have that coming up and then it's competition season. So we got a lot that's coming up and uh, we want you to be a part of the journey. And thank you guys for being a part of this experience. And that's it for this week. So I will be seeing you guys in the next vlog. Don't forget to check out our other YouTube channel where you can see all of the fun excitement of going to Walt Disney World Parks. And now I'm going to be going to Disneyland. So going on the West Coast and I'll be able to go over there and you can follow that journey too. So I'll put all of that information down in the description where you can find that. I know, look at the chickens are hanging out. <laughs> Is that cool? You think you can grab him? <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in our next vlog. Peace out, guys. Bye. You cut me loose and set me free.